uh, D.I. Spokes and myself... Yes, good morning. ...have been investigating. We're here with another suspect, Chels. God, there's loads of them, isn't there? Yeah, do you want to do the good cop, bad cop thing? Yeah, OK. OK. Kim, where were you, 8.35, Monday night? Uh, I was in my flat. No, you weren't. You no, were in the we office. Saw you in the we factory. saw you in the office. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty as charged. She had the motive. And I left. <laughs> Honestly. We didn't see you leave, did we? No. You didn't see me leave. But we, you did phone Carla. We saw Michelle ringing. Mm. And you'd gone in to get the. Okay, she's looking at me like. Oh. <laughs> <I'm scared. laughs> I should feel like a policewoman. <laughs> get her in the corner. <laughs> But what a brilliantly written and, and acted episode it was on, on Monday night. So there's so many question marks, so many loose ends hanging. It was a fantastic... Uh, well, the, both episodes were fantastic. Rhea Ferdinand tweeted that it was epic. Wow! It was epic. Yeah. It was one of the best set of episodes I've seen, actually, and it did keep everybody guessing, because it could be literally any one of us. And don't forget, Sally found the body. Yes, yeah, so so who's covered in blood all over her hands. going to be... But is that too obvious? Yeah, that's what we were all yeah. thinking last night. Did you watch it at home? I did watch it at home, yeah. I'd recorded it because I'd been out. So I watched the first episode um, after the fact. I was you say, Polly, sit there and be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was having a bottle. Yeah. I follow you on Twitter and it's like, Polly, please let me have a good night's sleep. Yeah, no, she never does. She's so, she's so mean. <laughs> How did you find out who the killer was? Is it literally when you all get the scripts? Um... She's thinking carefully how she's yeah. going to answer. How can I word this to not give it away? Uh, it must be hard. There have been lots of rumours flying around, you know, um, and lots of theories about who'd done it. But, yeah, pretty much until we got scripts, yeah. <laughs> we is were, it really exciting? It is exciting. And, and it's, it's, you know, I think f for a soap, it's always really frustrating if kind of the outcome is leaked beforehand. And, you know, like with the tram crash and everything, everything was kept really quite secret. Yeah. And, you know, and I think... Hopefully, fingers crossed, we've maintained the same kind of secrecy and I think the press have been really good. If they, if they have got any clue, they haven't leaked anything. Which no, because is... it is annoying to people, isn't do it? Your... My mum would yeah. be very annoyed. If do, do, your, do your friends, um, people you bump into, they badger you for, for the clues to who done it? Yeah, and the kids, <laughs> and the kids, and the kids' friends, and you know, I'd be like, "Mummy, here's a vodka." Uh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, the dinner lady asked Emily the other day, "So come on, who killed Frank?" And she was like, oh, "Well, you're not having your chips." No. <laughs> I've had lots of tweets saying they think it's me, so um, because apparently I'm not very obvious. No, we, we I think it was it. kind of bubbling under with you, really, because yeah. you were there, but you weren't. You didn't have the main motive. Mm. You know, like, Carla obviously did, and she came back and would shut the door. Oh, and I don't know. I think Michelle's seen him get away with too much over the years. Yeah. It's his pent-up anger. It's just going to explode into one big... It's the quiet What ones. I wanted to know was why either you or Carla couldn't actually just rip up the contract or, or eat it, you know, after it had been signed. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one, actually. Well, you just have to keep watching, won't you? Watch how it all unfolds. <laughs> There's a lot of twists and turns in this story yet that's going to keep people like, oh, no, did that happen? You know, it's going to be really like that. It's, it's a great few weeks we've got coming up, so... I'm, I'm so proud to be a part of it. I was really excited last night watching it like a viewer as if I didn't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> and have you got any love interest in the horizon? Because you've not had a, a, a bad... It's been at least three weeks since I've Exactly. <laughs> There's a lull. Left. There's a lull. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I, I really have no idea. Um, I haven't read anything as yet, but I'm sure it can't be far off. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, she must be getting itchy feet now. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. Um... But yeah, I'm trying to think who she might be with. I know. I think you need somebody nice and grounded. She's been round the street. <laughs> yeah, you have to move to the next street. Know, including that fellow that fell through the window. Do you remember? <laughs> Jake the builder. Yeah. Who <laughs> found you in a towel or something? Who's now in Stella, actually, on yes. Nurse Guy. Yeah. Um, and I just said to you just before the we we start recording. So I've I've now moved to Stockton Heath, which is just where you used to live. Mm. And Kim now, got wind of it. You've got wind of it. You've now moved out. I moved away. So where are you now? I'm in Manchester now. Why did you move away from this great area? I'm trying to tell you how great, how great it is to everybody. It is a great area, and actually my children still hang around in, you know, that kind of area with their friends quite a lot, but um, I needed to move closer to work, really, because it's just... Mike you know, needs to do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long commute in, isn't it? It is, but it's great. I only moved away because you moved there. <laughs> I, I love your honesty. Sticky as door can make. It's ridiculous. <laughs> well, listen, good to see you, and, and um, I hope the, the storyline plays out very well for you. I've got a feeling it probably will do. Uh, thanks, Kim. Thank you very much.